Okay, now that we've mixed up our primary, secondary, and tertiary colors, we're gonna do a gray scale using the black and the white. So to do that, um, we're gonna start off, let's see, with a rectangle, just like we've been doing rectangles with our colors, we're gonna start off with a rectangle of black on one side of the page. Or a circle, or, you know, squiggles, whatever you'd like. What are you feeling called to do today? It's your sketchbook, your world. Most important thing is that we try. And I am going to make sure that my brush is very well clean. In fact, I'm going to clean it once in my really murky water and then another time in my clean water just to double, be extra, extra sure that there is no black paint left on my brush. Because next I'm going to go right into my white paint and we're not really going to be able to see this probably, um, but I'm going to paint a white square right about, right about here. There we go. All right. Give that a good rinse off really good rinse extra rinse okay so now we're going to do basically the way we did um, with our color spectrum um, but we're just going to be using black and white so we're going to be mixing black and white together in different quantities to get different shades of gray um, so to start off I'm going to use this palette here. I'm going to, let's see, get about equal parts white and black and kind of a lot of both. So good dollop of white right there. And of course, cleaning my brush very well between because if I get a little bit of white in my black or I get a little black in my white, then I'll, I won't have like a good strong black and a good strong white anymore. I'll just have sort of a you know, new shades of gray. And so I want to do all my mixing in a mixing palette like this um, and not with my, my raw colors here. So I'm going to pick up a good dollop of black, about that much, equal to the white that I had here. And I am just going to mix these two together real well, hopefully to get a good middle gray. Nice, good right here and that that white's kind of like chunky so I'm gonna make sure to kind of mix in all those chunks so that there's not just a pocket of white hiding somewhere okay that looks pretty good okay and then using that middle gray I'm gonna try to find right in between these two rectangles and paint that middle gray right here I really enjoy doing this kind of thing, um, making color spectrums, making gray scales with paint. Um, it just, it kind of feels like the same kind of joy I might get from putting together a puzzle. You know, just finding the way things fit together really well. Um, so things like mixing the right, the right amount of black and white to get a middle gray. Um, and what we're gonna do next is pick up a bit of black here and try to match that amount of black with some of this gray that we've already made to get the the middle black and gray you know darker gray of course than what we had um, here because we're mixing more black with it and so I like this because it just it's just a little bit of like trying, guessing, seeing what happens, making adjustments. I really like that kind of process. Um, and I hope you do too, because it's, it's quite gratifying. So I just got like a little bit of black and I mixed it with the gray that I made. 
And I got this darker gray here that's just gonna go right in between my black and my gray. It's already, it's pretty dark. So that's kind of like, if these are our primary black, white, gray, then this is gonna be like our secondary gray. It's not a lot of words for gray until you get like really creative, you know, like cloudy sky or whale, um, brushed metal. So we're just gonna call them metal grays, I guess. We can come up with names for them. Um, so now I'm going to come up with a gray that goes right in between here, and I'm going to do that by using this gray and mixing it with quite a, with a bit more black. So here's I'm just going to kind of pull it a little bit away from where that gray is, so I don't mix it up too much on the palette, and I still have some of that metal gray left. And then I'm going to pick up some of the gray I made. That was the black in this gray made this gray. Now I'm gonna mix this gray with more black. And it's basically gonna look pretty black, but not as black probably as the black from the two. Pretty close though. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that right in. Sometimes um, with these softer, um, less expensive acrylics, um, you get some variation in color as they dry. So it might go on looking brighter um, and more distinct and then as it dries it gets a little bit paler and that's because of um, some of the stabilizers that are mixed in with the pigments. Okay, so I've got black, I've got my black, black, gray. <laughs> I've got my black, black, black gray right here. Now I'm gonna mix the, the gray that goes between this gray and that gray. So that's these two together. Um, and I'm gonna do that just by picking up a little bit of that middle gray, and that's that right there. And on my mixing palette, mixing it fairly evenly with this, the black and gray with this color here. Picking up some of that. Mixing that here. So it's going to be a little bit darker than our middle gray, slightly lighter than our black gray. Okay. All right. So that's going to be our spectrum of black to gray. Now we're going to do a spectrum of gray to white. And it's basically the same thing that we've been doing. Mixing it, mixing the gray, different quantities with white. Okay, so first we're going to start with, I'm going to turn my palette over. We're going to start with just some straight up white right there. Pick up some of that middle gray. Try to even even amounts white and gray. Mix those two together. And this is the gray that's going to go pretty much right in the middle, right in the center between the middle gray and the white. Next, we're going to mix up our gray and white gray. So the color that goes in between here is going to be a mixture of this color and that color. So a little bit of the middle gray that we've mixed. Put that there. Okay. 
pick up some of that white gray we just made and on top mix it up all right and then we're just going to go in a little bit darker than the white gray a bit lighter than the middle gray Okay, and then for our final mixture, we're going to mix this white with this very light gray that we've made, hoping to make an even lighter gray. So, a bit of white here, Got a lot of white, I don't need that much white. Always cleaning my brush. While I'm painting, um, if I'm painting like a picture, I might not clean my brush this much, but since I'm mixing colors and I want to be able to see the colors distinctly, it's pretty important to have a clean brush um, so that the colors don't get too muddy. So mixing up that white gray with my white. It's that chunky white, so we're just going to try to mix in all those chunks. right in, right between gray and white. White you might not be able to see, really. And there you go. This is our gray scale. It is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine square gray scale. Um, we could go more, you know, we could do the mixture of white and light gray here. We could do more mixtures here. We kind of got the blacks pretty solid, um, but we could certainly do more with the whites. Um, it's kind of up to you how many times you want to be mixing, how experimental you want to get. But it's just kind of to give you an idea of um, both like how much, how to, if you're, if you're painting a picture, say you're painting a picture of a, a gray whale um, and you think like, okay, I think my gray whale is going to be a gray like that, then you'll know that you'll need to first mix equal parts of black and white and then mix um, equal parts of the gray that you make from that and the white to get this one. So this kind of helps you figure out your, your mixture quantities, um, this, this gray scale here for the future. Or if you want something in between, then you know like you'll need to mix a little bit more white. It's also just good practice. You know, it's good to practice mixing colors, um, seeing what kind of variation you can get, you know, maybe um, you want to develop more around like the bluer things. You want to see how, what kind of different blues. What if you mix these two together? We kind of stopped here between blue, green, and blue, but we could mix blue, you know, more blue with the green and see what other kind of colors we can get there. Um, and that's, that's how you get a whole bunch of colors, a whole bunch of hues out of just like five different paints. I mean, that's, that's what we used here to make this and we can go further. So. Anyway, I hope that this has been helpful with um, starting out with painting. I really love making swatches. They're really enjoyable for me, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I can't wait to see the things that you guys make.